back here, Northwest Bus Sales. Appreciate your time checking us out. All right, Jackie behind the camera, as always, doing a fantastic job. All right, get a load of this D coach we got here. MCI 2004 MCI D4500. 50, 53 passengers, pay no mind to that uh, pop off valve there. 53 passengers, two wheelchair capacity. Seems got fresh paint on it too. Doesn't it, Jack? 2004, let's check her out inside. I love the D coach, one of my faves. This is a good utility coach for MCI. Look, dude, look at all these Ds we got right here. Give them a shot, Jackie. That 4505 with the cat eye front end. Oh, look at those. 4500s, transit style entry door, right back around. All right. All right, let's go inside. Come on, Jack. You got the trifecta of grab bars coming in right here. Step treads are looking pretty good. Okay, 2004 D coach. Love these things. They call it 4500 because it's 45 foot long. And uh, so first, I'm going to get right down to it. Look at this. Look at the mileage on this. This only has 21,000 miles on it. Can you believe that, Jack? I can't either because that is obviously not accurate so uh, needless to say again that is not accurate I have scanned the engine computer on this baby and it came up with something like that I can't even remember now Jack 17,000 on the ECM that's not accurate either the best I can tell you about the miles on this thing based on uh, indications from the previous operator 750 to 800,000 that sounds more realistic to me so Pay no mind to that odometer, inaccurate. Gauge is all functioning, looking pretty good. Yep, <clears throat> tilt telescoping wheel with the lever here on the side. The buttons are in good shape. You can actually read them. You can see the, symbol, the symbols on them. Look here, Allison, B500. Can't go wrong with that. That's, yeah, and it's, uh, well, we'll talk about the engine when we get to the back. Heat and AC climate controls right here. All the buttons again in good shape a lot of times these old i keep talking about the buttons that's because you know old school mcis well the buttons get wore out anyways like to see that it's got the transit style turn signals down here on the pedals the push buttons these push buttons remind me of the high beam switch on the old ford pickups i used to have right jack all right cockpit looking pretty good driver's driver's side windshield in good shape i'm not seeing any cracks or even any chips or anything like that on these those windshields are looking good and along with the passenger as well windshield in good shape you got pull down sun sun shades here look at that look at that side view window a little bit of fogging on this dual dual pane ticket window right here see that all right power mirrors okay let's cruise through the inside here driver's seat i missed the driver's seat this is a uscc driver's seat upholstery in pretty good shape a little bit of sun fading i'm not seeing any rips or tears or anything like that air ride driver's seat does have the buttons here for lumbar thoracic and cervical support <laughs> i don't know i just made that up but it does have some some lumbar support there all right driver's seats or pardon me passenger seats in pretty good shape you are going to see just a tissue edge wear here and there but overall pretty daggum good these seats actually fold up to accommodate up to two wheelchairs this one slides forward and back and same here with that one and this one that way you can get up to a couple of wheelchairs enclosed over overhead parcel racks we've got monitors on three on each side why didn't we turn those on jack because they don't work he said there you have it because they don't work good answer all right the uh I, tour style windows tinted single pane windows and man this thing looks pretty good looking pretty good the headliner looks good the headliner does not quite match the seats which tells me and the sidewalls there i think this thing's been reupholstered and that would explain why the upholstery looks so good so doubtful it is the factory upholstery there you have it bathroom here in the back there you go 
kind of dark in there. Does this got the sink in it? I don't remember. Let's have a look. No sink in this. It does have a vanity mirror, so that's good. And then you have a hasp here that can also be used to lock up unruly passengers. <laughs> I, do, I do not recommend that. Anyways, so floor feels pretty good. I do recall feeling a little bit of a soft floor back here, Jack. So these older D coaches, they were kind of known for that it, as time went on. It's not bad, but just trying to shoot you straight here, I do feel a little action above the rear drive axle. So looking pretty good. All the passenger glass is in good shape. Headliner looks good. Front and rear um, emergency roof hatches. Like I said, not one, but two of your favorite wheelchairs right here and over here. So there you have it. You got map pockets down here. Let's cruise around outside. That's enough with the interior, right? Is, is the video system up here or is it not even present? It's down there, but it doesn't turn on. Oh goodness, Jack says it's down there. Oh yeah, I got an REI deck there in the dash. Very good, very good. All right, let's cruise around outside. <clears throat> <clears throat> this does have a recent paint job on it. <clears throat> Look at the tire treads. Looking pretty good. Boy, that's meaty, dude. That's probably like, what, 17, 18, 30 seconds. Looks good there. This bus came from a transit authority down in northern Oregon. I think on the east side, if I recall. It's starting to rain. We better close this door, Jack. Dude, I'm so ready for this rain, man. It's been a hot daggum summer. So, anyways, let's check this out. Let's get a look at the under the, the under four storage wheelchair Rikon style or Rikon cassette style wheelchair lift right there. Notice no. A lot of times there's rubber rail down here. It'll, it'll you know people drivers have a tendency to bang into stuff from time to time. So it uh, looks pretty good there. wheelchair lift under there here's the wheelchair entry door and uh, fuel tank right here fuel I think the capacity on these do you remember the capacity aren't they like 200 and 200 ish sometimes they'll have that auxiliary tank as well which kicks them up to like 250 or 60 master switch right there a couple of 8d's inside there and then more pass-through under floor storage Looks pretty clean. I'm not seeing any damage, anything like that. Looking good. As I mentioned, the glass all looks good. You are gonna see some minor dings and scratches throughout this thing. It's had a recently a fresh paint job on it, but commercial grade paint. So, all right, give them a shot of the undercarriage there, Jack. Show them these, these beefy tires here. Man, those are feeling good. Those are comparable to the fronts, you know what? Knee deep in tread. Looking good. Looking good. Same on the rear tag as well. Don't get wet, Jack. It's starting to rain. He's a sensitive boy. He doesn't like the rain like I do. Oh, somebody help her. You want me to open it? <laughs> All right, there he's getting to open up the barn doors. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Detroit Diesel Series 60 12.7. Married to an Allison B500. That's a fantastic union. Uh, you can't get any better than that. Allison Series 60. Goodness. Look at that. Show them underneath. Outstanding camera work, Jackie. Look at that. LED clearance lights up top, LED backup lights, LED turn signals. The whole shooting match is LED. Shows the inside there. Transmission, you can see the tranny dipstick right there. You can see not a lot of rust or corrosion. Looking pretty clean, you know what? Look at that. All right, as we cruise on around, let's go check out the driver's side. Street side here, tires again deep and tread. Dude, that, that's a, this thing's got good rubber all the way around. All the way around. Toyos here on the drive tires. 
on the drive axle. Minor dings and scratches, as I'd mentioned. No major damage. And then again, let's pop these open so you can see through to the other side. Looking pretty straight right here. This is a lot of times banged up. You can see, you know, people will run over stuff, push up the under floor, war, uh, the under floor there. Yeah, not this one. Not this one. AC condenser and fans behind here. Again, Rikon cassette style wheelchair lift. Pretty much takes up the whole bay, but if a guy needed to, you could throw some luggage and whatnot. You throw your golf clubs up in there, right? That's what I'd do. These doors function nice and smooth. Look at that. Nice and clean. All right. Yokohama here on the front. Boy, that's got a ton of tread too. This thing's got good rubber all the way around. I think you'll be pleased with it. This will work great for, you know, private school, a church, you know, tour and charter outfit, right? So, all right, I'll, I'll just wrap it up with that. Again, we got a 2004 MCI D4500. Like I'd mentioned earlier, I don't have accurate miles, but the previous owner indicated 750 to 800,000. Allison B500, Detroit Diesel Series 60, 12.7. Jack's getting all sided. Look at him. He's, he just can't stand himself, you guys. So, appreciate your time checking us out. Give us a look online, nwbus.com. Give us a call with any questions, 800-231-7099. Thanks.